Hi there, Guitar Flipper here again. <clears throat> My very first ever acoustic demo. Um, long story short, I've taken in this fabulous uh, Gibson J185 EC30, doesn't really matter what it is, um, which I've fallen in love with, I took it in on a deal. This was mine before, this is a Faith Venus natural series high gloss i think i think it's one of the early ones with the faith shadow preamp so basically because i've now got the uh the gibson the faith is for sale and i thought i'd do a an a kind of an a b demo because you know when you're in your head you kind of it's hard to tell which one you prefer sometimes the faith is very very good i mean new these are like 900 quid um whereas the gibson new Two and a half, three grand, something like that. So we'll do a little bit of an A-B test between the two uh, and talk you through the faith. Um, this, this is unplugged. I've got the microphone plugged into the iPad, which is picking up the sound. That's all, just sound in the room. So, there you have it, you know. The difference between what you would probably describe as kind of a boutique, almost vintage, which is a 1996 Gibson EC30, a Blues King, um, one piece maple back, maple sides, uh, rosewood fretboard, all that, you know, it's, it's a Probably a vintage instrument now, a highly desirable guitar. Even on the used market, it's 1500 quid of anyone's money. I mean, the condition's not great. I quite like it as it is, it gives it a bit of mojo. I'll say these, this particular one is for sale for 400 and something from you know, 400 quid with a hard case from me. They're both Elixir strings, exactly the same brand, exactly the same um, gauge. These ones have been on for a little while. Don't play it much, haven't played it much since I restrained it, but have been on a while. These ones have been on about a week. So you know, you, this one should, you know, should have the advantage of the fresher strings. <laughs> in the 
top. I say dense because the lacquer isn't cracked. I mean, as soon as I got it, I put uh, a clear scratch plate on it <clears throat> to protect the top. Action's nice and low. I think these are 11 to 52. <laughs> The acoustic I had before this was a Taylor 410, which was, and as soon as I got this, it knocked spots on it. I got this in a trade, back, back before I was doing serious guitar flipping, I got this in a trade and still had the Taylor and was like, oh man, that's it, night and day the Taylor's going. And then when the Taylor's a 1200 quid guitar. Uh, Grover tuners with nice kind of ebony, ebony buttons on them. Yeah, very nice. Um, you know, when I first got it, I didn't like the headstock shape, but it really, you know, soon passes. Uh, fingerboard, I believe, is it's an ebony, but it's a it's a breed of ebony. Um, Macassar ebony, some Macassar mass, mass ebony, something like that. Where it's actually not very black; it's almost like a stripy zebra wood type thing. <laughs> So there you go. If you're interested in if you're interested in these Faith guitars, I can recommend them. This is all solid wood, and I think it's holding its own against what is supposedly, you know, a lifetime classic instrument. I'm still going to keep this one. There's a little bit of romance to it that I, you know, I really love it. But actually, if this one doesn't sell and it stays, you know, I'm not I'm not heartbroken. But you know, whenever I say that, a buyer always comes along. So there we go. I am, you know, I'm, uh, I'm pushing hard for a very nice Gibson 335. May even get something old, vintage, 70s, maybe, maybe even 60s. We'll see how we go. See how the saving goes. So may need to get rid of this to uh, accommodate. But anyway, um, this is on Reverb, Facebook, whatever else. Hit me up. Cheers.